Well, you remember I told you we talked about um, circles of knowledge, how you, there's a circle of knowledge and then you jump to the, there's an arc and you jump to the second uh, circle of knowledge and each, each circle of knowledge gets bigger and bigger and bigger and you know more each time. And I told you we this we were in the second circle of knowledge. So this is the ending of the second circle of knowledge. So everything that we've talked about makes a circle. And in that circle you have to go around and around a couple of times, listen, read every listen to everything I said again, and within that you will have a certain amount of knowledge from that. So this is the this is the cutoff point. We're right back to where we started on this second circle of knowledge. There's a lot, I've talked about a lot of stuff, so there's a lot to absorb, a lot to think about. And as you think about it, you go back and you 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 start again on the circle and you will you'll see things in the beginning that you didn't see when you when I first said it you didn't see it but when you come around again after all the other things I've said it'll it'll become clear again so learning is not just reading something and knowing it and then forgetting about it you have to go back reread rethink because your life keeps expanding, you get new ideas, new experiences cause you to look at everything different. I always like to say it this way. Every day you get up, you multiply everything you know about what's happening in the world, you multiply it by the number that you know. And then you get an answer. The next day, you've had some new experiences, you've got to change that number and multiply it again because you'll come out with a different answer. The problem people have is they stick to the same number. They multiply everything that happens to them in the world by the same number. They never change that number. And so they always come out with the same answers. Life experiences every day gives you new experiences so you have to change that number that you multiply everything by so you get new answers. If you think life's a cakewalk, you got it wrong. This, this, and I'm not saying now this is that this is that you have to go around carrying the world on your back. I don't mean that. That it's it's when I say it's it's a lot of work. I don't mean to say it's it's drudgery. It's not. It's fulfilling. It makes life very worthy to think and to understand things. It's just that I'm saying that you can't just lay back and let the world roll over you and accept it. You have to get in and engage yourself. That's what makes life worth living, is to be engaged. Whether you're an artist or not, if you, were, if you want to be a, an aficionado and a love art, that means you're engaged and you'll, you'll find out more about it and it'll expand your life. Now there are people who will probably say after they've heard my readings and they'll say, oh, there's nothing in there. That's not the truth that we know. We know where the, we know better. We need to sell things and he's, he's way off base. Well, let me tell you something. The largest of weapons cannot kill the smallest of truths. I don't care how big these calm artists are, how much money they make, how well they're known, how big these critics are, how much they know, and how the parties they go to, and all this fancy talk they got. Those are large weapons, but they can't kill the smallest of truth. You go back into my readings over this past year, you'll find truth in there. And I don't, no matter what they say or what anyone says, they can't kill that truth. It's there. 
And I don't care how big their weapons are. History tells us what men did. No, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. History doesn't tell us what men did. History tells us what men do. We repeat ourselves. We go around in circles. So uh, you've heard the term, history repeats itself. So history is not telling us what people did a long time. They tell us what people do, and they continue to do. And that's important now that the, the art establishment is doing the same thing it did in Paris in the 1800s, 19th century. Same thing. They get established. They don't want any dissension. They think they know what they're doing. They got it all, you know, all the critic, everything is in place. And they won't allow anything to happen to that because it's, it's a house of cards, but they, they've got it built up and they're all making their money and their egos and everything is attached to it. And they're not going to listen to any truth about art. They're going to only want to tell you what they know. And they're going to say, anybody that doesn't say this is idiot or whatever, you know. That's what history tells us. People do the same thing over and over and over. There's an art establishment. Long come the Impressionists, completely destroy it because it's made of a house of cards. So here we have com art, commercial art, people making all this money in art and everybody's going crazy in New York City. That's going to collapse too. Mark my word. Because it's not. there's not a bit of truth in it. It's not true art. So I'm going to leave you with this, for this, in this cycle. <clears throat> Those who want to seek form, uh, seek, uh, seek fortune, fame. I'm not saying that it, it's it's bad. I'm only saying if if you if you're out there doing things uh, for money, that's and that's the only reason you're doing it. It's wrong. Do not seek lady fortune. It's best she come upon you unaware. If she has something to give you, she will find you. Calling in her name only annoys her. So, don't go around pushing yourself around. Uh, you're just going to annoy Lady Fortune. If she has something for you, if it's your turn to be rich and famous, It'll come to you without you having to go out and do anything and without ruining your art soul. Because there are cycles. The Impressionists made a, a nice living for themselves, but they also had their art souls intact. So I'm not saying you can't be rich and famous, but to, to seek that is wrong. And to get it under the circumstances we have today is wrong, wrong, wrong. Be true to art and then accept whatever happens to you, whatever comes your way. With that, go to my website, send me an email. See you next week.